Hi guys, uh, my name is Marina and welcome to the very first episode or haul video for Dollar Tree uh, on my channel called Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. And I truly am a Dollar Tree Addict. If there was a rehab for Dollar Tree, people would be sending me there. This is the next best thing because at least now if I make you do videos, then I could tell people that I'm shopping for a purpose. The truth is, I actually have a nonprofit organization called Garage Sales Against Violence, and we help women who have been victims of domestic violence. Sorry, I get emotional when I talk about it, but we help women who have been victims of domestic violence get the things that they need for their households. And since times are really tough and people are having a really hard time everywhere in the world, I thought that maybe if I started a channel and started showing people my hauls, uh, one, maybe people could see that there is a lot of usefulness in Dollar Tree. And also, maybe we could get more awareness for my organization, which would be great. I do buy tons of things at Dollar Tree, and I sh save them in my tiny little two-bedroom, one-closet beach bungalow, where it's very cluttered, as you can see. I'm kind of eclectic and all over the place, but... Um, I do try to save things for when I do events and when people reach out to me. I do have storage in a crappy van outside that I put things in. But for the most part, I love going to Dollar Tree and finding things that cost a lot more money somewhere else that someone who has nothing could really appreciate when it's the right time. But I'm not going to lie. I buy a lot of things for myself, too. Anyway, I figured I'd give you guys a little backstory on who I am and what I do and what made me decide to start this is I've been home a lot and I've been watching everybody else doing these videos and I just, I guess I got jealous. I wanted to try it out. It seems like so much fun. I feel like I've become friends with, um, I just, I want to say that I genuinely love Thrifty Tiffany. She like got me through quarantine. <laughs> I had never watched anything like it and I started watching your videos and they made me happy during a time when I'm, I live in New York and I am like super neurotic and germaphobic. And this kind of thing that's going on in the world is really hard for me to deal with. But especially when I know that the population that I work with is the most affected and always honestly the most neglected. So it's just really hard to cope with it. And if it wasn't for Thrifty Tiffany and other people that we've discovered along the way my best one of my best friends Gretchen she started doing it for DIY videos watching YouTube and she got me into watching thrifty divas and that was like phase two of my quarantine chronicles of watching YouTube obsessively all day long to the point where people take the remote away from me I fall asleep watching YouTube videos it's I have that kind of personality I, that's why the name of the channel is addict but anyhow I think that I use my addictive personality for good, which is what we should do with our talents. Anyway, um, so I'm just going to try to throw myself into this video because I am really nervous. I don't know what to say, but I did go shopping and I'm going to show everyone what I found. Um, okay, so this is actually my absolute favorite thing that they sell at Dollar Tree and what brings me there all the time. I'm not skinny, so it's not a low fat snack, but Crunch and Munch, my favorite. Bought a bo box today. It could be gone by tomorrow. We don't know. So there's that. And then um, I always buy this whenever I see it because actually I try to bake and it doesn't work out. But whenever I see this, I get it because for some crazy reason, it's probably the most unhealthy stuff in the world. And normally I buy like organic oils and I try to buy really healthy things that not are not in really the Dollar Tree very often. But this is not one of those items. Mm, yeah, it's totally not one of those items. But for some reason, when you bake with this, your stuff does not stick to the pan. I'm not going to ask what that's about because I've tried the whole flouring and buttering thing. It doesn't work. I bake a cake. It stays in the pot, in the pan. Um, this stuff is amazing. It's probably not good for you. I don't want to say anything bad about it, but it's amazing. That's all I know. Anytime I see it, I get it. It's six ounces. Everybody that goes to Dollar Tree always gets it, I think. But I only buy this one. It works. It's amazing. 
Whoops. The next thing that I got, I actually saw somebody else haul it. And then when I saw it, I was like, oh, I'm going to try it. And then it is open because we did taste them. Um, these galactic brownies, they're actually tiny, but delicious. Shocking. I didn't think they would be, but like I said, I'm not a good baker. So if I see something like that, I'm going to get it. Whoops. What's next? Oh, two other staple favorites in my food shopping section of Dollar Tree are these chives that they always have. Actually, they don't always have them. It's like a third of an ounce for, the, for them. Actually, I don't always see them, but I happen to find one at the register and I was like, wow, this is awesome. They were meant for me because I'm making baked potatoes and everybody knows chopped chives are always good with that. Um, and onion powder. There's no salt in it, um, which is really good. And I love that. Anytime I see onion powder without salt in it there, I pick it up because I use it. I did pick up um, one of these French vanilla coffee mate shelf stable um, coffee creamers. They're good for when your son, who's a teenager like mine, gets up in the middle of the night and has cereal, drinks all the milk, and there's not anything that you could possibly put in your coffee in the morning, it's good to keep these in the back of your cabinets because that happens quite a lot around here during quarantine. I've noticed that my son is going to bed later and later every single night, and I can't, I, I'm dead asleep by then. I'm, I'm old. That's what happens. He's sleeping. I wake up, can't have coffee. Sorry about that noise. Um, I did find these and I have seen a lot of people haul them. They look really good and I'm excited to try them. I only found one, like I said. Um, there's four bags in it. And I did see, I think the only say that they're in clear sleeves. I haven't opened them. I think I'll open them and see what they look like because they look really good on the package. And there's like fake M&Ms. So that's always fun. <laughs> Anytime you can have a little chocolate in a healthy thing, that's good. Well, there's like one M&M in the whole bag. So I wouldn't even feel bad about that. I'd probably eat the M&M first and then, you know, work my way around peanuts and raisins. It's good though. They, oh, okay. So they're actually very cool. They look great. I'm excited. They're very colorful. I love that. Um, I think that, I know everybody else seems to separate their stuff, but I didn't do that. So I bought these apple cider vinegar ultimate tablets. I've heard a lot of people say that you shouldn't buy vitamins at the Dollar Tree, and you probably shouldn't, but I did. It says no bitter aftertaste, ultimate apple cider, 500 milligrams per day. I just thought that it might be nice to try it and see how it feels. If I like how it makes me feel, then I'll order some online that are like, I guess of a better quality, but I don't know. I tried them. I want to try them. And uh, at the registers, I found a lot of very exciting things. And I say this because of what has happened in the world as of recently. I have to be honest. Anytime I go to a store, and I see anything that has any kind of sanitization to it, I am sickeningly, ecstatically happy. It's not funny. Uh, so it is a state of the world. I can't lie and say that it's not true, but I felt like I hit the jackpot today. They had these at the register. There was another fragrance, but it was a limit of two, so I decided to get a blue one and a pink one. One of them is coconut lime. It's hand sanitizer. It's not on the um, band list. It's three ounces and you can attach it to your purse, which is pretty cool. Uh, it doesn't seem to like be defective or blow up or leak. I, th I think it's amazing actually that you could get something like this for a dollar. And I went to a lot of Dollar Trees because if I could get 75, then I could do a shelter drop off. So little by little, once I have 75 actual hand sanitizing products, 
I'm going to try to make some goodie bags and bring them to my local shelter so that I can share my finds with some families. Um, I did pick up a pomegranate and vanilla scented hand sanitizer also, which also looks amazing. And honestly, it smells really good. It smells great for a dollar. Um, I then, I did see some other people haul these and they didn't like them. I don't know why. I actually tested one out in the store and it seemed amazing. Um, so I bought the limit of these also. Rosemary Lavender Foaming Hand Sanitizer and Mint Lemon uh, Foaming Hand Sanitizer. They're by Personal Care, which pretty sure is by Greenbrier. Mm. To be honest, I can't see a word that this says. So let's put on the glasses and see what it says back there, shall we? Yeah. Manufactured by Delta Brands. Oh, well, it's made in New York. Oh, no, made in Turkey. Larchmont, New York, USA, Delta Brands. Made in Turkey. Probably even better. Um antiseptic all I know is that this um, I don't know if you could see the ingredients in there this mixture of ingredients is not on the prohibited list I checked it and I feel good about giving it to families and I'm gonna try to hunt more down I'm gonna go to as many Dollar Trees as I can tomorrow and try to get 75 bottles because 75 bottles equals one per family at the shelter that I'm currently working with the most. And that's kind of my goal right now. It's hard to get things in a timely fashion online. I've had no luck with it. Everywhere I go, there's a limit. So I've kind of been doing that. And, you know, I don't buy more than the limit, but I am willing to go to as many Dollar Trees as I have to, to get what I need to get to make sure that families are safe during these times that probably can't afford it, would just go without. And it's heartbreaking to live in close quarters and have to deal with that. Anyway, enough about that. That's depressing. Um, okay, so I found these. I don't know if someone returned them or what the deal was, but I felt like the universe brought them to me. I've been sort of really wanting them, and every time I went, I couldn't find them. I just recently ordered a beverage cooler. I'm looking at it. That's why I'm like, oh, there's my cool beverage cooler that lights up. I love things that light up. And it just makes me so happy but anyway I like to have cold beverages and since there has been more stuff in the house than usual since we're kind of not going out more than once or twice a week um, I have had no room in my house so I decided to buy a small beverage cooler so we could have cold beverages in the summer but then I was like I wish I had those fridge soda can storage plastic things that I watched everyone haul they're amazing they just appeared in Dollar Tree right in the nick of time, meant for me three of them, which is exactly what I need, one for shop, per shelf. And now I could put the cans in and put other stuff next to it. And I'm really excited. And it was really sent there for me. Yay. So anyhow, what else did I find? Oh, yes. Another limit item. Two packs of 10 soft wipes kills 99.9% .9 of most illness causing germs. They're Purell, so you know these are legit. People that get these will be like, this is the good stuff. And, um, you know, I'm going to make 75 bags. Each bag is going to have food, whatever, and some sort of sanitizing things in it. So the more I can get, the more that I can give. Um, what else did I get? Oh. I don't know. I found these and there was a limit of four, but I only bought two. To try them out. They are Dawn antibacterial hand soap, but for your kitchen, which is amazing. So I got one of each and that's good to have. Those are staying here because I didn't have any left. Then I found... Um, this item, Lieber 2000, 11.5 uh, ounce, 340 milliliters. Um, it smells amazing. I don't know if you guys remember the 
leave her 2,000 for your 2,000 parts or whatever. But I was telling it to myself in the store while I couldn't smell it. It smells amazing. Yeah, it's a good deal. I was so excited to see that. I know that my husband and my son are going to like that. It's kind of manly-ish and clean. It just smells clean. Another item that I always pick up, um, it's like my staple go-to, is this. I don't know if other people like it, love it, but I think it works really amazing. It's by Dial. It says Professional Anti-Perspirant and Deodorant Crystal Breeze 24-Hour Protection, 1.5 ounce. Um, like I said, I always buy it. It works really well. It smells clean, and uh, I, ju I just love it. I can't say enough about it. This is my deodorant for years. I did try the Tom's um, Crystal chemical-free deodorant a long time ago, but I smelled terrible, so I went back to this one. Um, I went and looked at books, and uh, although my son is a teenager, he turned 13 in quarantine, um, at night, he does enjoy reading a book that I guess maybe is a little underaged for his age group just to fall asleep to. He reads crazy, long, huge books that I don't have the patience for anymore, but when he's trying to fall asleep, he just likes to read these little funny looking comic ebooks, or maybe he's over them and I just still buy them. I don't know. You know how we become uncool at some point. Um, Mr. Puffball uh, is the name of the book. It says, yeah, baby, stunt cat to the stars by Constance Lombardo. Um, I can't say that he's read anything else by her or that it looks familiar. He does read books that look like it. And for a dollar, I picked it up. It looks like something that he would get involved in and just start re reading all of this handwritten stuff. And if, I feel like he just falls asleep to it. It puts him to sleep somehow. So I think he'll love that. And we'll find out soon enough. Um, another item that I always try to pick up. Oh, no, no, no. More books. Oops. And actually, I got a lot of books and DVDs, which was pretty cool. So I found this. Um... During the holidays, I do like holiday parties um, for a lot of the women and children in the shelters and Monster High dolls, they sell them at five and below a lot. So I do end up giving them out a lot. But when I saw this, um, Monster High, Monster Rescue, I spy Deuce Gordon, I was like, oh, Deuce Gorgon, Miss Devon Spooks. I was like, mm, that would be cool to add with like, uh, you know, Monster High doll or whatever other Monster High stuff. It looks like a really good book. They're very popular. And some little girl is going to be really happy to get that in conjunction with a doll or whatever other item I find. Then this book, I think I got for myself. I did buy my friend Gretchen one too and a couple of other people because I feel like it's a good conversation starter. We're stuck at home with our families that we know everything about. And I figure... You know, maybe if you meet someone new and you have to do like a Zoom date or something, you know, whatever, whoever it is that I'm going to give it out there to, maybe they can like break the ice with this book. This book, it looks kind of fun to read like as an icebreaker. It says, what makes you tick the question book? So maybe like if someone wants to like reach out to someone or, you know, make a friend or talk to someone new and they're nervous about what they're going to say, they can go into this book for some inspiration. It's like, has a lot of really cool questions that evoke, you know, like people to get to know each other. Um, like how reliable do you think you are? Unreliable or reliable? Funny that I would just magically turn to that. Um, an occasion where you were unreliable. This is more like a dating questionnaire. This might be like straight from eHarmony. <laughs> um, three music albums that have changed your life. Wow. What would I say? Hmm. Well, that's that's a whole other story. I was very, very, very into music when I was younger. I was all about music. So there definitely are bands that have definitely changed my life. So that was, this is a good book. I'm excited to have found that. And I did get three copies of it to give as gifts for personal friends of mine. Um, I found this, which... I mean, if you guys are like my family or if anybody's out there like my family, we have 
watch the heck out of Netflix. Like basically we're, we've watched all of Netflix. I don't know what else there is to watch. We have now started rewatching things that we watched for a second time at the beginning of the pandemic. And we're really like, we've signed up for everything you can imagine. Hulu, Netflix, everything. And when I saw this, at first I was like, hmm, it looks like a kind of good movie. It's a Blu-ray. I've never heard of it. I don't know if you could see it. It says Fortitude, but um, it has Stanley Tucci in it. And I'm not like always up on like actors, but I was like, oh, he's super famous. This must be a good movie. And then I realized that it's a series. So it's up to like season three or something. And I figured for a dollar, I've never heard of it. It has um, four discs, a little over 10 hours, season one. If we like it, who knows, tomorrow season two could be a Dollar Tree or I could pick it up somewhere else for a few bucks and we have like 10 whole hours of entertainment to entertain me and my husband since we've just run out of things to watch, like I said. So that's a score. Then I found Blu-ray plus DVD digital HD Team Hot Wheels, The Origin of Awesome. Now that looks like, I don't know, it's really got a bad glare. Sorry guys. Um, it looks really fun. It has a nice colorful um, thing, like a nice colorful picture artwork thing. <laughs> okay, Marina. So, um, and there's like bonus features, it says on the back. It's just, it's really just for a dollar, you know, if you get a kid, an inexpensive Hot Wheels set and package this up nicely, they'll love it. They'll love it. Not everyone has a DVD player, but they do go to um, different places like daycares and they do have day rooms in some of the shelters. Some people do have um, DVD players and things like that, but um, I used to be scared to give things like this out because I felt like what if they don't have it but I there are like community rooms and if the kids want to watch them they can always get to watch them so I feel a little better about giving kids DVDs but I don't usually give them video games because they don't always have systems unless I know the kids specifically and I know that they have a system to play it on then I go out of my way to try to find them things that they could use and then I bought this Little Miss Doolittle these animals speak because again it looks like a very child friendly movie for a dollar and it's a blu-ray and i just don't know how to not have that glare happen but i'll figure it out as i go along i don't know if you could see it i'm probably making people like seasick sorry guys and uh it looks fun for like a young girl yeah someone's gonna love that i would i would like that movie i've never seen it but i kind of want to see it it looks like a really good movie if anybody's seen it let me know how it is then my husband's birthday is coming up so I thought that I might do something with this it says let go and let God it's I'm not very good at arts and crafts I'm artistic but in this kind of way like put stickers on something zhuzh it up and put it out the door I'm not like a I trust me I'm not very artistic like talented like a Picasso type of talent because I wanted to redo my pantry which I'm starting to do for I think the third time during quarantine this is where you get when you've been home for as many days as I have and you're never home usually but um I picked up this uh, chalk writer which I opened up already and these, I bought like, I bought four packs of these and each one has four pieces in it. They're um, chalkboard tags. I'm sure that other people have shown this in holes. The truth is <laughs> I tried to use one already with my cool chalk writer because I was like, oh, I'm gonna show my, you know, one person watching this video out there, my friend Gretchen. <laughs> Hi, Gretchen. Um, gonna show her, you know, and whoever else decides to watch my video, uh, how cool they are. But I really have like the worst handwriting ever. So I'm gonna have to really, really put my mind to it. But 
it's pretty cool because you could erase it. I think I'm going to have to erase it in the sink with soap and water. But I just thought it would be cool to like redo the pantry and glue them onto each basket and say like what's inside of each basket because, you know, this is the kind of time I have on my hands at this point. Um, you know, so I just think it'll look really pretty when it's all been said and done. And when you have a tiny bungalow like I do, the more organized you are, the more sanity you have because pretty much you open every cabinet in my house and things just fly out at you. I store you know, toys at the top of my kitchen cabinet shelves and underneath my bed, it's like a winter wonderland. <laughs> my shed is like Santa's workshop, but, um, you know, it's gratifying. It is like a labor of love though, because it drives my family crazy sometimes how we have no space and I'm always bringing things in and shoving them places because I have to save them until, um, the right time is to for them to be given out. And if that means that I have to buy something really at a great deal at, during the summer and save it for a year, then that's what I'm going to do if that's what it takes. So I'm really grateful to be able to do what I do for the people that I do it for. And as long as I'm able to shop, I'm going to continue to do it. But anyway, I tried to hide the really sadly written corn corn but I decided ah I'm just gonna let them know I have I don't have that kind of talent I have shopping talent and I have zhuzh talent but I don't have that kind of talent I'm not artistic so I'll probably put the let go and let god uh sticker maybe actually on the new Dollar Tree bags that they've been giving out everywhere they're paper bags they're so cool I love them I think that those are artistic like haven <laughs> they're amazing then I found something else that was really cool. I don't think I've seen anyone else get it, maybe because everybody hates them or they don't have them. I don't know, but I think they're so cute. And I don't usually buy little tchotchkes, but I'm going to have to find a place by my... I, I do have a pool in my backyard, a tiny little pool, but it is a real pool and it does have some rocks around it, so I can't decorate that. Um, anyway... I love them. I don't know if anyone else has seen them, but they're so cute. Um, it's see no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil, little pigs. And I don't know. I just love them. I don't usually buy little tchotchke things because I have, I mean, I can't help it. When you go to Dollar Tree, you can't help but buy tchotchkes. But I really have to limit myself because I have no space. I have like this is my tchotchke area behind me where I get to decorate. And uh, that's kind of it. But I love these. I just think they're so adorable. I do have birds somewhere else. So I guess I'm I'm really drawn to see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil in any form of production. Then I did happened to really get something that I wanted today, which is pretty crazy because you don't go to Dollar Tree knowing what you want and always find it. I went to um, a garage sale this weekend and I found these that I kind of just didn't know what to do with, but I was like, I think I'm going to put them in my windows. I think they're cool and I would like to put them in my windows. They are solar powered and they're on a timer. They come on every day at a certain time. They were 50 cents each. They're so cool. And they're really like big. Because so I had little ones and I have a crazy Boston Terrier that practically ate them. So these are sort of substantial. She'll not eat these. She won't. And so that's why I really wanted them. And then when I got in the car and I looked at what kind of batteries they needed, they need, I was like, whoa, these must be super vintage. I don't know what kind of batteries that that is that they need. And I was like, oh, I'm going to need a whole bunch of these batteries. And I actually found them. The Kodak um, C, you get two of them. I've seen other people hold them, but I didn't think that they had them anymore. And I did get, um, actually got four packs of them. So each one of those candles takes two packs. It's probably, they might not last very long, but for 50 cents, it'll entertain me during probably Halloween time. Uh, the fall where I decorate my windows and my deck 
and I really look forward to that every year. I love Halloween. Um, another item that I always buy when I see is this. I don't know if other people love it, but I just think these are the greatest things ever. They are um, Bao Duco. I don't think they're made in America. I highly doubt that they are. Mm -mm, I cannot see. Again, I can't accept that I need glasses, I guess. I don't know what is going on with me, but I just, just don't accept it. Okay, now I can see. Hmm. No, oh, it, it says no high fructose corn syrup, no artificial colors or preservatives. Um, good anytime. Try with fruit jam, ham and cheese, butter, salmon. Mm, it would be really good with salmon. I have made these with bruschetta salad and I have had them with just cream cheese and like tea or coffee and they're so good. I love them, but... I never really thought about where they're made. They just don't, I feel like they're not from here. Sometimes things that are not from here are super yummy at the Dollar Tree. So in my brain, I've always thought they weren't made here. They could be made here. I don't know. It doesn't say, if I find it, I'll write it um, when I figure out how to do that because I don't think I know how to do that either. Another item that I love getting all the time because I'm very hyper all the time and I'm probably blinding you people with my glasses um, is I spill things all the time when I'm driving. I spill things. That's why I always have to have a lid on like my cups because I'm very accident prone. So I'm always wiping, wiping, wiping in my car. And these are actually really good. I have a Jeep and can't tell you how many times I'm like, I can't believe that I just spilled that in my truck. So these work great. They really shine up the truck. That they're like, I think they're kind of like equivalent to Armor All. I always get them for a dollar. That's amazing. I love them. So anytime I see those in stock, I grab one. I found this, which made me really happy because I have had the pleasure of scoring a bunch of the other really bigger Freeman recently, but this one um, I bought. This is my second time getting it because it's so good. This little one happens to be my favorite. It says clearing pomegranate peel off face mask basics. And I have it too, but I went through the whole thing. It was so exciting. It like does one of those things where it pulls all your skin. And by the time you're peeling it off, you feel like you can't blink. And I don't know, but it's like instant facelift. I loved it. And I still love it. That's why it's here for a second time. So if you see that, I'd get it. And it smells amazing. Another thing that the Dollar Tree, and it's made by Dollar Tree, um, by Greenbrier. So maybe they'll keep it forever. I I just noticed it um, at the beginning of summer, and I keep buying it over and over again. There's not a ton in here. It's two ounces. But if you've, like, worn flip-flops all day and walked around and did, like, gardening and your feet are, like, hot and just miserable and achy you put this stuff on and all of a sudden your feet are like just so grateful I just love these and believe me my feet are never grateful they're like please please take us to the salon what happened what happened why have we not been getting pampered and I'm like ah, uh, you don't want to know so I put this on them and I get through the day and I'm really happy that I found another one I would get 10 of those if I could I bought these because um, nobody can ever find pot holders in my house, so I had this brilliant idea that I'm going to put these on my dishwasher, and then maybe when my husband or my son are cooking, they don't get third-degree burns trying to take things out of the oven without a pot mitt, because that happens around here. So this could be a life-saving item. It is magnetic hooks, um, two-pack, but they feel really sturdy. They have like a, a heaviness to them that just makes me feel like yeah, they're going to definitely hold my pot holders, and I have those like silicone ones, so I think that that will work, and like I said, this could be a lifesaver, at least keep us from having to go to an ER, because I don't know what they're thinking. They'll try to take things out of the oven with like a napkin. That does not work. 
so I was on the hunt. I've seen a lot of people haul these and I couldn't even help myself. Um, I already put my favorite Enjoy the Little Things in the frame. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen everybody hauling these calendars, but um, I did see, um, I can't remember who I saw do it, but they said that this picture frame